Joe Pet UK. <laughs> you touch your nose when you say comedian. Yeah, I did. I don't, I, don't, I, I don't know who I've put my. I had tick. a fruit roll up earlier and I did wanted to check it. It smelled good. <laughs> I haven't, that made it, when you sniff a finger, there's no way it doesn't look like more disgusting than it does. Like, I've never heard anyone say that sentence before. When you, you when you sniff a finger. When you sniff a finger, it always looks dirty. It's always, like, a, always. the other one is at the moment when it's really hot on the underground or on a train, when you try and sniff your armpits. Yeah. Whatever you do, no matter how yeah. subtle you think you're being, you're not because you're there going like, I'll just give it, and you pretend you're wiping your, no one wipes no their brand. If you just do it like that. If you're not, everyone's like he's having a cheeky sniff. You just, you've got to try and figure out a way to twist your head. Just, or you just, just yeah. sort of just, just a little smell. like a cat, just sort of just, checking it. Yeah. But I smell alright actually, surprisingly. Yeah. Well, let's smell each other. Come on, let's smell. Yeah. You yeah, do you smell good. You smell nice actually. You smell yeah. Probably That's better than me. John Vavatos. Really? It's this a... is mushroom German efficiency. Mushroom is that? Mushroom. 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 I thought you said mushroom. Yeah, it's mushroom. So I just rub a, a rub a mushroom. I rub a bit of fungus on my arm. Rub armpit. a breakfast mushroom under my pits. A breakfast in the mushroom. Yeah, do you know the big ones? Are they called breakfast mushrooms? Yeah. I just thought they were called mushrooms. Used to work in a veg shop. What if you have it at dinner? Is that allowed? Uh, you get shot. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you do get shot. Mushroom, mushroom Nazis, mate. They get very angry um, if you eat a mushroom at the wrong time of national day. National socialists are terrible. <laughs> How is your show going? You're doing a show, right. right? Yeah. It. Um, yeah, I am doing. I'm doing a show. <laughs> right I'm not, now. Yeah, I'm right now. I'm doing a show. No, I'm uh, doing a show in an Edinburgh festival called. Uh, Sorry, Edinburgh festival. Edinburgh Fe Edinburgh Edinburgh that comedy that Edinburgh comedy Edinburgh, Edinburgh, Edinburgh Fringe big, Festival. Is that a big thing? Well, I do. A, I, you do the show every day for a whole month. <laughs> you do know what I'm talking about. No, but some of the idiots out there don't know. Yeah, just They're on YouTube. Oh. You're on YouTube. Get out of the house. Go to Edinburgh. Fucking. He's playing now. Stop wanking over this and go out. Are you yeah. wanking over this? Isn't a weird thing to master. This is weird, yeah. Just... Two, two guys for the price of none, though. Yeah. yeah sniffing <laughs> fingers, so sniffing each other. Sniffing there are people into other. that. Someone would have loved that. They were going to tag it. Sn men sniff each other. Men sniff each other. So, well, where we only sniffed the armpits. We didn't sniff. Yeah. Like, it wasn't well, crotch based. Think. So how is the show going? I'll leave it's, this going. it's okay. I get, I get very easily, as you might have noticed in this interview, I get quite easily distracted. But it's, uh, yeah, I, I basically I moved into my mum and dad's shed okay. uh, after last Edinburgh Festival, which shows how well last Edinburgh Festival went. It's really good. Could um, be a good shed. It's a nice, it's a good shed. It's like one of the nicest sheds I've ever lived in. But it's still, um, it's still a shed. So like, uh, like most people call a spade a spade. I call it that thing I hang my hoodie on. So, you know, Great. different people. Yeah. Definitely hardest thing about living in a shed, ordering a takeaway. Yeah, that would be hard. Because you, it's difficult when you're speaking to someone and on the you phone. Need phone. You need a phone. You need a phone. Fingers, Fingers don't, yeah. don't work. You have to get a phone, which is difficult. Yeah. You have to get a mobile phone. It's very hard to get a phone connection in a shed. Yeah. It's actually hard to get even reception with, an, somehow the shed is like lead lined or something. It's hard to get respect in a shed. It's hard to get respect. Yeah. <laughs> but when you're on the phone to a takeaway man or lady, ladies are allowed to do that job now. Take it's 2014, guys. Takeaway lady. Very, all about equality. Takeaway person. Takeaway human, yeah. When you're on the phone to it, that sounds wrong. That's like slavery. Takeaway human. To a takeaway human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's can I have can I have one? Uh, one I'd like, preferably a male, 6'1". Uh, <laughs> good at garden work. He'll fit into the shed situation well. <laughs> But when you order it and you give them the address, that's hard enough. But then I have to like say to them, what's going to happen is you're going to get to the house and like a, a man or a woman, my yeah. mum and dad are going to answer the door. You're going to walk past them through the house across the garden. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you in the shed. And they're just like, this does, that doesn't sound like a real phone call. But yeah, that's the worst thing about living in a shed. It's good though. I'm having fun. But a guy once actually had to go, sorry, I, I, for, I forgot what that, I thought that was something, I forgot what that was on my, sh my shirt, but it's actually... That's your, uh, that's your microphone. And then my button came on and it's like, <laughs> So my top wanted just to get slowly, naked. Slowly, you wanted, you wanted to make naked. it a viral hit just by getting <laughs> my deceptively hairy belly out. Uh, what was I talking about? I we were going to talk about it. I have no idea. We're but I about... think what we should talk about is influencers quickly. Oh, influencers. What type of influencers? Because if people haven't seen you, they might try and guess from your influencers. What, like, what, what do you like? What do you grow up like? I, uh, when I was young, I used to love Eddie Izzard and yeah. Jack D, who are very different comedians. Yeah, really different. Eddie Murphy, I love, I love Def Jam comedy. Oh, okay, early really, Eddie Murphy. Early Eddie Murphy. Although when you kind of watch it back, some of it's just quite homophobic and stuff. But in, yeah. in retrospect, when you're ten, though, you're like, this guy's amazing. Uh, but I love the confidence of his delivery, and uh, I just love, I, I love Def Jam. Do you ever watch any Def Jam? Comedy? Yeah, yeah, I've watched Def Jam poetry as well. As well really, which is really good. I, 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 on my Vine, actually, I sometimes do me doing a Def Jam version of material. <laughs> stuff like, What's the deal with Wednesday? What fucking. It's the middle of the week, nothing to do, just stuff like that. It makes you feel good and just do it around the house sometimes. Makes Talking me feel about good. finding social media, what are your social media links? What, where can we find you? Oh, you can find me at Chris M Comedy. I should, it sounds like, it actually looks like Chris Mook Comedy, which Chris Mook Comedy. is an accidental kind of it's not accidental, allusion it's to the fact that I'm a big fan of McDonald's. Uh, big fan. 
Big fan of McDonald's. I am a big fan. Vine is again Chris M. It's all Chris M. Comedy. Chris Instagram M. Comedy. Chris M. Comedy. Everywhere you want to. I've nailed the Chris McComedy market. You've put a nail right through it. Where can people go and see you? What time can they go see you? They can What's the name of your show? Because I don't think we said it. Oh yeah, Chris Martin. It's called Responsibilityness. I'm on at half past eight in the Pleasants Beside, which is a porter cabin. It's no, it's an old shipping container. So it's one step up. It's one step up from the shed. So I'm delighted up. to be there for a month. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to stay there afterwards. I don't think I'm going to leave Edinburgh. Just stay in it. Well, I don't even know where the shipping container gets taken back to, but I'll hang out it's there. It's just a shipping container. People turn those into houses now. I've seen that Channel 4 show. Amir, really? Amir's and Spaces with a guy, a Geordie guy. Amazing spaces. Yeah, go look. This this old toilet is now really, it's a lot roomier than you think it is. And it's You've like, developed well, the arch of someone's foot into yeah. a bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this tree branch is actually, oh, it's so spacious. <laughs> Got a got a nice little bean bag in there. Um, I used the crack of my ass. So yeah. no. <laughs> yes, I've just I've just found a little man in my armpit <laughs> while sniffing it on the tube. <laughs> so responsibility is what time? Can Half you see? past eight in the uh, Pleasance beside in Edinburgh. I'm also doing a tour afterwards. If you cool. if you don't go to Edinburgh, um, I don't tour into people's houses if you're lazy and you're just watching this at home. But that's on my website, chrismartincomedy.co.uk. Awesome. Thank you very much. Um, have a lovely time. Thanks. Should we sniff to finish? Yeah, let's have a hug sniff. Sniff. Hug sniff. Oh, I love Don't smell too much because I feel like I might. Okay, now you're good. You're yeah. good, mate. Jig Pit, home of new comedy.